This video is going to be about how to make a CO2 car in Autodesk Inventor. First of all, we're going to make a new file and it is going to be a standard part file. So we're going to click create. Um, one thing you should know is have your drawing, your multi-view drawing with you because I'm not going to tell you what these dimensions are other than in the video here. If you ask me what the dimensions are, I'm going to tell you I don't know what they are. Now, we're going to go to our front view here. You saw I click create a 2D sketch. I'm going to go to my front view and this is where we're going to draw our box. We're going to draw a simple rectangle and you just click and don't drag your mouse, just click and move your mouse. The overall length in inches is 12 inches and I can click tab, it will go to my other one. The height is 2 and 3 fourths, 2.75. And click back to your front view to see the whole thing. So it's 12 inches by 2.75 inches or 2 and 3 fourths. I click finish and I go back home. Now I have to extrude this. I extrude my block and you might have to click on the block, you might not. 1 and 5 eighths, 1.625, and check means you're done. Okay, and I can rotate that around, I can see how it looks. That is my block. Now I have to draw an uh, angle on here because my block is partially cut off, it tapers down. And to do that you have to create a 2D sketch on the front edge of this. I'm just going to start by drawing a line from the top to the side here and then I have to dimension it. My line, excuse me, this line actually goes all the way to the back. I'm going to undo that for a second. My line goes from the very back here all the way to the front edge. And now I'm going to dimension this. All I have to dimension is this part right here. I click on the end point, I click on the corner, and this should be 3 fourths, which is 0.75, and I click check. When I'm done, I click finish my sketch, and all I have to do is I have to extrude this part all the way back. So I extrude, and I'm just going to extrude this surface, and automatically it selects the positive Z, or the positive front view. So I have to change the direction of the extrusion to direction 2, and now I'll let it extrude it back, and it should be an inch and 5 eighths, which it is. Check, and that'll be gone. Rotate this around, now this is my block. You can see what I don't have is I don't have the hole in the back of the CO2 block, so I need to make that now. I click Create 2D Sketch on the back surface, and I'm just going to make a circle in the middle, and I'm going to make it directly in the middle, I'm going to have to move it later, but you can see these uh, dot dot dot, those what look like hidden lines indicate that it's in the center, and that is a 3 quarter inch circle, so 0.75, return. Now I have to make it the correct distance up from the bottom. It's already centered from side to side. My only dimension I should have to do is center to bottom. And this is 1 and 1 fourth to the center. 1.25. Check. And that will get it in the right spot. I click finish. Now I have to push that hole back. So I'm going to extrude it. I'm going to rotate it, go back to my home view first, go right here, and I have to extrude it automatically. When I click on that, it's going to extrude it positive, so I have to extrude it the negative direction, which is direction 2, and it is 2 inches in. So I click 2, and I click check, and now you can see I have a hole that goes 2 inches in. Now here's something you should do before you continue on you should go and change your view style. The view, I can't see my hidden lines right now. If I change a visual style to smooth, or from, uh, I don't know, whatever it was, change it to shaded with hidden edges. And now you can see all the hidden lines in there. So this is my hole, and you can see it's extruded two inches, and my CO2 block. So when I move that around, you'll always be able to see the hidden lines in there. This is gonna help you later on. This video is only going to cover how to draw the block. The next video is going to be on the front view, and the following video is going to be on the top view.